Hello and welcome to the Fox and Blake Show. Today we're going to talk about... Uh, how BuzzFeed killed facts. <laughs> no, we're going to talk about... Uh, JFK, who killed him? Was it aliens? Yes. But what aliens? You know, that's probably not going to happen. Today on the Fox and Blake Show, we're going to have a very nice, normal conversation about... Men have been accused of things. What, which ones are the innocent ones? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk about deep fakes. Deep fakes. Deep Explain fakes. to me what a deep fake is, Damon. Is it a pool that's just painted on the ground in chalk by a person that is a street artist and you try to dive into it and you really hurt your head? It is not any sort of wily coyote-esque situation that you're describing, George. A deep fake is where nerds have taken, uh, uh, say, thousands of pictures of someone, anyone, they could, it could be of anyone, but is always a female celebrity and they have made a... Always? Always? Always. Always. In my world, it means hope. Well. They have taken that footage and they've applied it and they, they, they've now made a working model of how that person's face is and then they can then map that to a video of another person and then make that person do things. So would it be videos of that person saying, you know, like, happy birthday to someone or saying something like, hey... Poverty should be fixed. Things like that, so that you have celebrities supporting good things that they don't actually support in real life. Those Is are that what they do. Those are two good suggestions mm. for what could be used for deep fakes. And they must be true, right? Unfortunately, if you have ever used the internet Ooh. or talked to another human being, oh. you'll find out that's not the way it went. Mm. It has been mostly, as far as I'm aware, been used to make ad hoc pornography films mm. of your favorite starlets who have never themselves starred in a adult pornographic blue movie. I love pornography where people play hockey uh, while doing adverts. Ad hoc. You could, do, you could take uh, uh, all the pictures you have of George on your phone, put them through this machine, and then put his face on my face. His face. And live that nightmare life. So you're saying that because of all the fax videos that I've done, mm. there are hundreds if not thousands of hours of footage of my face that would make it essentially incredibly easy for anyone who does deep fakes mm -hmm. to take my face and put it on someone else's face. Yes. Yes. There is... Limitless possibilities. If you are someone out there who are like, oh, I'm thinking of getting a new hobby. I don't know what I want to do. Maybe mm. crochet, maybe uh, Aikido. But instead you're like, maybe I'll learn how to deep fake George Fox and just put him into other scenes. You could put him into uh, uh, the Nuremberg Trials. Mm. That's the first idea that has come into my mind that if you're going to use this technology for anything, Use it for the Nuremberg Trials. That seems like a good place to put me. You're familiar with the Nuremberg Trials? Yeah, of course. Of course. I love the Nuremberg Trials. Every year, I watch those BMX rallies in Nuremberg. They're incredible. The trials that they go through, incredible athletes. The, the trials and tribulations of, of those Nuremberg. BM, of Nuremberg. One of my favorite sitcoms of all time as well. <laughs> oh, Nuremberg. Nuremberg. <laughs> um... Have you ever seen any deepfakes videos, George? No. <laughs> Do you think some people are using deepfakes in a responsible moral way? Where like, they take a porn star and then they edit them so that they put their clothes back on. They say like, what's going on? Like, you into this? Or is this, you in a bad place in life? So you, you see it as like being treating uh, 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 pornography actors like Sims characters instead. Mm -hmm. Where you can just like, oh, here's what they would look like. As a postman, here's what they look like if they were trapped in a swimming pool with no ladder. I hope it's used so that people get to make more of their own scenes and do what we all want. More story and porn. Ugh, gross. I mean, it is on one hand gross, but on the other hand, it is also terrifying. Yeah, it's real scary. Because in a world where anything can be faked, is anything even real? <gasps> Did you feel that? Did you feel that in your soul? It was a cultural shift. You might, he might look like an unemployed lumberjack, but there is the soul of a poet somewhere. 
somewhere. This is the body of a poet somewhere. You deep... I'm a lumberjack that killed a poet. Can that you, makes sense. Can you deep fake a soul? Because if they, if you can, I feel. Ooh. The only way I'm gonna have a soul is if someone really <laughs> deep fakes it. So where do you see this going in the future, George? Uh, worrying mm -hmm. because we're gonna have more dead celebrities in movies. I think. That sounds very threatening. It sounds very threatening, but I mean, if the technology gets to that level, mm. we already have it where it looks terrible and it's Princess Leia in a Star Wars movie and it doesn't look like her and there's that other dude that died that was in Rogue One and mm. that didn't look good either. Mm. But what happens when it looks really good? What happens when it looks indecipherable? What happens when they're like, we're remaking The Great Escape but we're making it with Steve McQueen again. And you're like, oh. Um, that's just The Great Escape. Why would you? Why don't why we just watch the old Why don't we just watch the original Great Escape? Guys. Ah, this one has Vin Diesel in it. He voices the bike. Oh. No, now, do you know what? Now that you've said that, I'm totally on board and I can see no negative consequences from deep fakes. So if you... Yay for deep fakes. Yay, deep fakes. Yay for deep fakes. But definitely don't take all of the videos that we've put online of our faces and transpose them onto other people's bodies. Please don't do that. No, but if you're gonna do it, don't put my face where someone else's face is. Put my face on someone's belly or, oh. or, or the kneecap. Put both of our faces on people's knees while they're doing that thing where the knees go back and forth. Can you Perfect. imagine a pornographic film where a, like a lady is taking off her top, slowly zipping it down like it's Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and then like her memories come out, but at the end of each memory, there's my face and his face. I'm on board. Could you deal with how erotic that would be? I'm fully turned right now. I'm just saying, if you want to do it... We can't stop you. We, we can't, literally can't stop We you. can only push you towards it. What are we going to do? Stop putting videos out about ourselves? No. Not an option. Take down the other videos? Mm, don't, forgot my no. pass don't have my password don't anymore. Don't got it anymore. It's out there. Keep it. Check out our next video where we review the deep fakes you sent in of us. Maybe this is one of them already. Who knows? It's impossible to tell. Thank you for watching our video about deep fakes. I'm sure you, you paused it, went and looked up what we were talking about, and now you're back here again to just now. It's like 20 minutes later. Two year old satisfied, your you're tired. Shirt's all open. You're like, oh, okay, let's uh, get to the end of it. Let's leave uh, a comment. Oh, why am I so disgusting? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Why do my weird internet dads tell me to do these things? Oh, God. Anyway. Uh, we're happy to give you a nice chill part of the day. We'll be back soon with another video. Mm -hmm. And until then, if you do know anyone who might enjoy this, please let them know because... Send it on. I have contacted everyone I know and none of them are returning my calls. Why not send it to a friend and say, Oh my God, I can't believe the CGI in this video when they deepfake these two guys. That'll work. Yeah. It's a conversation starter and... Ender.